Those goals coming in a two-minute spell just past the midway. Surprised that VAR was so groggish. The hitch was there, and it was knocked away by... Mabil's claiming it. May have got there via a Chinese player, but it doesn't matter as far as they're concerned. But 24 minutes... Yeah. Just a hint of a, of a defender. Referee saw it as fine. Well, how they needed that. Because his team had been the better side, no question. Quick. To allow the decision to be pressured here, Suter. As far as he can pressure someone who's six foot six. He just looks cross, doesn't he? In as many minutes, Martin Boyle with a wonderful... Yeah, no wonder Ian Jung Ling is furious. He was short-handed. And it was an erring finish into the corner. Mabel was the decoy. The two defenders didn't get anywhere near close. It's his fourth international goal. It's only his ninth appearance. It's a go. Graham Arnold must have been a little concerned about the way the game is going. Now, period that started promisingly for China. Goals to nil. Those two goals in quick succession. First by Mabil there. And Lee Tier is really going to have to earn his money in the dressing room. So Zhang Shizhi is one of the... Darbo, the defender, looks to be the other player who's come off. Do some of the damage that was done in his midfielder. Yeah. Win his ninth cap. Look. Yeah, I think it may have been the way that he fell a century. Free kick lifted in. They've got the big man up from the back there. It's been on for barely a minute. Look at the Australians swarming around the Mabil, no one near him. And Duke Bodden straight back out. But he didn't get admirably quickly. I suppose the only critic. Duke's fifth international goal.